Hey there, in the last video, I showed you the most basic tip on how you can get a melody from the project window over into the school window, and it finished looking like this. In this video, we're going to add lyrics using the other drop down menu and this lyric icon right here. So I'm clicking on it, and I've automatically got my pen on my pencil, and I'm just clicking underneath the first note and typing my first lyric. Hit the tab key on your computer keypad and watch it jump automatically over to the next note. And as it does that, see that Cubase is basically stretching or moving these notes around so that they fit in. You can even use a hyphen for words that have two syllables and Cubase will place the hyphen neatly in the middle. So this is a really easy and quick way of entering your lyrics and not having to worry about how you place your lyrics in underneath the notes because Cubase is doing all of the heavy lifting for you. If you're anything like me, you're probably going to make a few mistakes and I've made one here. That should be a hyphen. So I'm going back and just getting my arrow tool and double clicking on this word. And now I can correct this and put the hyphen in. And to continue on entering these lyrics, all I'm doing is simply hitting the tab key again. Notice every time I hit the tab key, it just moves the box. So it's almost as though it's a new text box, but in reality, it's not. We can go back and edit any previous lyrics that we may have incorrectly entered. For demonstration purposes, I'm just doing a verse, and of course, I've sped this last bit up. And also, it's worth pointing out that I'm in page mode. If I untick page mode from the scores menu, I get this edit window, which is fantastic for editing some stuff in the score editor. Uh, for me, I often edit notes in here, and this might be where I enter notes manually if I'm creating a melody, but I do prefer to add lyrics in the page mode so I can see this layout. And it's pretty much as the uh, person you're going to hand the lead sheet to is seeing it. Another thing worth pointing out is that you can move notes around after you've entered lyrics and just watch what happens. The lyric is glued or stuck to the position of the note. So you don't need to worry about entering lyrics last. If you hold down shift and double click on the lyrics, you can highlight all of them. And this is where we can start playing around with fonts. So we can change the font of our lyrics. There's a number of different fonts that I guess have become standardized for lead sheets. It's up to you to figure out which ones you want to use. Sometimes it might help to use a condensed font as I'm using here. So you can see that the words are more con condensed and a little more compact. So it's a bit less cluttered. If I double click on this and hold down shift, I can hide it. So I can hide anything in my score that I don't need. And I can also easily come in here and type in a song title for my track. And of course, there's a number of different things that we can do in here, including changing the font, changing it to bold, of course, changing the size and doing things like stipulating that we want it to be in the center. So this is really neat if you want to basically enter a track title and also potentially a composer or an arranger. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check this video out. Please give us the thumbs up if you've figured out how to create your own lead sheet with lyrics and subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel for plenty more videos just like this. I'll see you there.